Okay, what's the best skincare tips, routines that you have to share? SPF, every single day. Don't overwash. No harsh chemicals. Avoid foaming cleansers or anything that makes your face feel tight. Moisturizer every day, morning and night. Wash your face every night. Use vitamin C for anti-aging and brightening. Salicylic acid for your T-zone if oily. Opt for exfoliating with the acid rather than a scrub. Be gentle. Edit. Spot test before using a new product if salicylic acid doesn't work for you. There's also alpha hydroxy acid, lactic acid, glycolic acid, which may be right for you. Come on down to R. Skincare Addiction. They taught me everything I know. Cleanse, moisturize, sunscreen equals the holy trifecta. A good thick moisturizer is as good as any eye cream. My personal tip, a swipe of Vaseline over the top works wonders. Always wait a few weeks before incorporating each new product into your routine, this way if you react badly to something you'll know what it is. Chemical exfoliants are safer and more effective than harsh screw bullshit with gritty bits. However using them makes your skin more susceptible to sun damage so you must always wear sunscreen. I have oily, combination skin. I wash my face twice a day with a face wash containing salicylic acid. Before bed, I'll use Body Shop's Tea Tree Serum and then dab a bit of tea tree oil on any emerging spots. These usually disappear within a day or two. I use Bio Oil to fade old scars that I have, though they're barely noticeable now. Garnier Micellar Water Morning and Night, Hyaluronic Gel for the eye area at night, and Dr. Hauschka Cream Cleanser when I'm getting dry. Strong SPF on my neck and lips most days. I have sensitive skin that gets weighed down by cream moisturizers, I look older and break out when I wear it, moisturizing definitely doesn't work for everyone. Rubbing my face with micellar on a cotton pad gently exfoliates it. After washing your face, gently pat to dry but leave your skin damp then apply moisturizer. It helps seal the water into your skin and is a game changer if you typically run dry. Also Vaseline cures all. No product makes nearly the same impact on my skin as proper sleep hygiene. The same things don't work for everyone. For example, my friend with pristine clear skin, and I, someone who has been struggling with mild acne for the past decade, can't necessarily expect the same results when using the same products. It's super important to get to know your skin type and what works for you. Unfortunately this has taken a lot of trial and error, and I still don't know exactly what works best for me, but I'm getting there, and I've learned a lot along the way. The only thing that cleared my acne was stopping wearing makeup. I tried so many products, so many routines. Now, if I feel like wearing makeup, I just use bare minerals for my foundation. It gives good coverage and lasts all day if I top it with a setting powder, the one from Tarte is my fav. I don't use concealer, or setting spray anymore either. And I don't wash my face every night, just every couple days with Cetaphil Daily Cleanser. Has anyone heard of the Eminence skincare line? All natural ingredients, very gentle, and just a great product line. I have seboric dermatitis and a niacinamide plus CINC serum mixed into my cheap-ass superdrug moisturizer as an actual godsend. I'm not super into skincare and I don't have a routine other than washing my face twice a week with a basic-ass skin soap from Lush, but the serum genuinely clears up my scaling within a few weeks of using after washing twice weekly. Highly recommend if you have a similar problem and have fairly bombproof skin otherwise, I think niacinamide plus CINC can be very harsh on sensitive skin, YMMV. I used to have severe acne, so I used two strong topicals, everything else, cleanser, moisturizer, and SPF, were all super gentle products for sensitive skin. Helped me prevent my skin from drying out or get irritated. I thought I had oily skin forever because I got bad breakouts. I basically slathered on every anti-acne thing out there to no avail. I lived with painful cystic acne for ages. I got an IUD Mirena, for my birth control, because I always missed pills. My cycle basically stopped within a year and my hormonal breakouts left with it. Then my friend who is an esthetician basically slapped me on the wrist because my skin was dry not oily. All my harsh acne products were tearing up my skin. Between regulating my hormones and hydrating my skin, I haven't seen a zit in ages. If you're struggling, professional advice is a good place to start.
Hormones also suck and you could have the best most expensive products ever and your hormones will laugh and wreck your face anyways. Watch Hiram on YouTube. Coconut oil after every shower, shampoo my hair only every other day, almond oil on face every morning, which hazel toner every night. Face mask every week made of spirulina powder, activated charcoal, white clay, green clay and witch hazel. And of course daily supplements, vitamin K2 to keep your bones healthy, vitamin D, vitamin C, astaxanthine, the most powerful antioxidant there exists. Exfoliate with plain old bicarbonate of soda. Mix bicarb with water into a paste, thinner than toothpaste but thicker than tomato sauce. Paint the mixture onto your face avoiding eyes and lips. Allow to dry, then using a damp face washer, rub gently in circles until the dry paste is gone, then rinse thoroughly with warm water. Pat dry. Your skin will be soft and smooth. This helps dry out pimples too. The ordinary, hyaluronic acid or buffet, makes my skin feel lovely and it's affordable too. Winking face. If you have normal skin, all you need is a gentle cleanser, moisturizer, and sunscreen. All the other stuff is usually unnecessary, unless you have specific skin issues, for example, acne, or eczema, etc. I do like the feeling of some serums and face masks, but I usually only use those one to two times per week, or a couple days before a special occasion. Go to a dermatologist if you can afford it. Beauty store employees are trying to push unnecessary products on you and will give you serums and products you really don't need. Dermatologists will have answers to all your skin woes and can recommend specific ingredients so you can look for products you like with those ingredients. Most importantly, stay hydrated and get plenty of rest. I have tried so many products I have really sensitive combination skin and sometimes it just goes mental with oil overload woman facepalming light skin tone, I suffer with cystic acne around my jawline and neck. I saw a dermatologist who recommended me FROIKA, it's a Greek brand but it's the best products I have ever used. She told me to use twice a day the AC liquid cleanser, and every other day I use the pink toner, it's quite strong so can dry your skin a bit so I only use it twice a week to get rid of any grime. Also to use the sensitive moisturizer every night after face wash and every other day a peptide cream which helps reduce blackheads and reduce the sebum production, I use this three mornings a week. I started this in February just before lockdown and my skin is honestly the cleanest it's ever been. I have been wearing makeup for 15 years and this is the first time in my life I feel confident to not wear any. No more cystic acne or any spots at that matter. Folded hands. I definitely say to wash your face every night, cleanse and then moisturize but avoid anything that has harsh alcohol as an ingredient and this damages the skin. Use sun cream. Every day. It's just helping your skin a lot. I have very, very dry facial skin, even in the height of our humid summers. What seems to be working for me right now is Garnier Rosewater Micellar Water followed by Aveeno Eczema Cream. If I have to take makeup off, I use Ivu and physically remove this with a very damp paper towel, but not too roughly. Then I wash the Ivu off with Cetaphil Bar Soap and moisturize with the Aveeno. Hyaluronic Acid Works Wonders. Retinol cleared my skin better than any pill I took for acne. Use one of those eyebrow razors to shave your face and make it nice and smooth. Cutting out sugar and eating whole foods cleared my skin more than retinol, AHAs, BHAs, Vit C, ECT. I think your appearance can be a reflection of your overall health. Exfoliating and SPF helps though. I recently tried putting Vaseline on my eyebrows and I think they are growing faster. It's all about health especially diet and exercise. Drink lots of water and eat 5 to 6 fresh fruits and veggies every single day. An hour of exercise a day. Lots of good sleep every night. Drink a lot of water. Cheap and the best skincare advice. Less is more. No chemicals always cleanse your face at night clay masks are awesome. Vitamin C and SPF daily. Witch Hazel. I use a cleanser at night to take off my makeup but use witch hazel in the morning. Antibacterial hand soap is cheaper and has cleared my face better than any face wash I've ever used. It's gentle enough to use multiple times a day, I'm outside most of the day and get dirty, and it gets dirt, makeup off with ease. Honestly my skin cleared up the most when I stopped washing it. 
I exfoliate with an exfoliating cloth about every other day and wash my face whenever it feels too gross. Maybe once a week? I have a really good moisturizer by Youth to the People which works well for dry skin and I use it as needed. Tablespoon of brown sugar and tablespoon of olive oil mixed together for facial scrub once a week. All you have to do I just take the skin off of your body, no need to clean it. I use a hot cloth cleanser and moisturizer. Some days I add toner, every few days I use a face scrub. Don't use face scrub every day. Tip, after showering or after cleansing, toner if you do your skincare routine leave the skin damp it's prime time to moisturize. I've honestly never used one product that wowed me. I've never noticed a difference between any of them. I've bought expensive products, and affordable ones, and they're all just meh. Washing my face too frequently makes me break out. Mud masks do too. My skin looks best when I leave it alone and just cleanse and moisturize woman shrugging light skin tone. Use oils over lotions when possible. Sunflower oil is amazing for reducing redness, and is really light. Despite what people may tell you, you should stay away from coconut oil for both skin care and hair care. It has huge molecules, meaning it doesn't sink into your skin, but actually sits on top of it and repels moisture. Exfoliate. But obviously don't overdo it. Use a light sunscreen every day. You actually don't need to reapply. Take care of your hands. Moisturize them after you wash them. I'm also a fan of chemical peels, and microneedling. Most importantly, it doesn't have to be expensive to work. Most of my skincare items are bought out of the grocery department. This is from someone who is dangerously close to 30, and still takes teen modeling Joe bullshit from time to time. I am a man, but here's what I got. 1. Face wash, Kiehl's has a caffeinated face wash gel, and then sodium sufacetamide Avar face wash, acne 2. Aftershave, 10 skin to keep redness down from collared shirt irritation after shaving. 3. Toner, I use witch hazel for its softness as a toner, particularly Thayer's. It also has antifungal properties, not that I have fungus on my face. 4. Medical stuff, retina micro, acne, clindamycin phosphate 1%, acne, a serum, and Greek remedy oil. 5. Kiehl's eye balm that reduces under eye swelling, and then also an anti-aging eye serum. 6. Kiehl's cactus spray that helps lock moisture into your skin. 7. If I'm burnt, then I have a Mary Kay hydrating gel. 8. If I have a beard, then Kiehl's beard oil. For oily skin, wash with two cleansers. This is the greatest takeaway I learned from an esthetician while getting a facial. Especially if you're wearing makeup. But even if not, it's very effective at keeping your skin clear. In the summer too. Feels so good. I have a go-to Neutrogena, Naturals, for everyday use, then follow up with a micro scrub, or cream cleanser, any secondary one that provides what your skin needs. I've added retinol 0.2% to my nighttime skincare routine a few weeks ago and some minor issues I pretty much always had, like the skin being redder next to my nose or visibly clearing up. French skincare. It's more expensive in the US but so much effective and clean than Lux brands. Using Bioderma, Darfin, Lirac, Vichy, etc. gives immediate results. Everyone with the dehydration issues, and believe me more people have it than they realize, should try Bioderma. After much experimenting and spending a lot of money, I have now promised myself to never go elsewhere than a French pharmacy. Sunscreen. Every single day. Neutrogena is my go-to brand for my face, hands and neck, it's lasts forever. SPF 55. Lots of people didn't realize that SPF refers to how long it lasts. I buy a cheaper sunscreen for my body. I also have some cute hats I love and wear often. Expensive does not equal good or necessary. $25 is the max ill spend. I don't wash my face. Only if I think it needs a quick wash which is not common. It makes me break out if I wash it, so I just rinse it in the shower and rub lightly with my hands. I also don't wear makeup that often, so it makes it easier to not wash. Do what works for you, not what works for a random YouTuber. I use a retinol and a moisturizer that I apply after I shower. I let one sink in before adding the next one. I think the main thing that works for me is that I drink a ton of water and make sure to eat my veggies. 
I don't eat things with added sugar often. I find that my diet directly correlates with how my skin acts. Under moisturizing is super common and really bad. Obviously scale back if you suddenly develop acne or irritation, but moisturize twice daily. Jojoba oil restores broken moisture barriers and is non-comedogenic, meaning it doesn't clog pores and actually helps acne in a lot of people. Also, body skin tip, if you have keratosis pilaris here's something that worked for me, might not for everyone idk, I switched from a regular loofah puff thing, the ones made out of mesh, to a silicone scrubby pad, I shave my arms even where there's no visible hair, and I use jojoba oil on them every day. The lil bumps disappeared within a couple months. I live in one of the most polluted and hot city and have combination skin. Cream-based moisturizers don't work. I use water-based ones thrice a day. Nighttime application is really important. Dot. Sunscreens create a oily layer. So, I wash my face thrice a day with minimal cleanser and scrub, apply sunscreen twice a day. I carry many versions of them. Lot of work but I had a really damaged skin. I used to use potato peels to remove my sunburn spots and it worked quite well. Sometimes I do visit for facials and apply mask, but I don't think they work. Fresh aloe gel after shaving or using an epilator on body. Alum powder after facial hair removal. Learned it from my dad lol. That's once a week thing. And the thing that works best is workout and diet. Every skin condition I had decreased tenfold. I don't even have to use glycolic acid or retinol creams anymore. Honestly, I stopped using products. And no, I'm not one of the lucky ones who has naturally flawless skin. I have hypersensitive and acne prone skin. One day I was thinking about the meme that men hardly ever wash their faces and still have great skin, and I thought, maybe the reason their skin is better is because they don't use all the fancy products that we do? So from there, I completely stopped my routine and my skin has looked the best it ever has. Granted, it takes a while for your facial skin to adjust, so I looked pretty gross for about a month after I stopped washing. And I still get occasional blemishes, but they go away really quickly now. But I haven't used products in nearly three years and my skin is the healthiest it's ever been. I just rinse with water when I shower and scrub lightly with a cloth once or twice a week. Staying hydrated also makes for great skin. Everyone here is going to swear by their own routine. But there is no single ideal routine for all people to follow as we all have different skin types, lifestyles, diets, hormone levels, genetics and ages. If you're naturally very oily or hormonally imbalanced, it's unlikely that some beauty products are going to help significantly, and some are likely to make your skin worse. Exfoliate your face once a week. It gets in super deep and clears out all the gross shit. Using oils every night to moisturize my skin changed my life. I use a blend of jojoba and castor oil, my skin soaks it up. I have combination skin, only T-zone, dry cheeks, and since using this my skin is balanced and never too dry or oily. Also, diet is super important. I eat lots of healthy fats and minimal processed foods. People have told me my skin glows and it's nice to hear because I had bad skin for many years. Vitamin B3 great to rebalance oily skin and brightens, evens out skin tone, vitamin C, best antioxidant, long-term benefits, vitamin A, retinol, great long-term and to keep your skin clear, face wash, use anything that's gentle, scrub, mask, use a chemical-based exfoliant, i.e. AHA, 1-2 to two times a week, AHA, keeps your skin clear and exfoliates, reducing the need to scrub. Use at night, moisturizer, can keep it simple, i.e. CeraVe, if you are using actives, vitamins, AHA, retinol. Glycerin, fatty alcohols, i.e. acetyl alcohol, is more effective than hyaluronic acid to retain moisture in your skin in climates like Aus. Don't be fooled by the words alcohol, they don't always mean what you think they mean. SPF, I swear by physical sunscreen day to day as it sits well on skin. Use a more water-resistant one for sports. Every day must have plus reapply. While I very occasionally use a toner, I really only use a mild facial cleanser and a light facial moisturizer. That's it. I once worked for a dermatologist, and she said she recommended a classic cleanser like Pond's Cold Cream Cleanser and a light moisturizer like Neutrogena. Seriously.
She also said that as one got older, the retinol treatments i.e., the kind you had to get a prescription from a dermatologist to be able to do were the most effective way to keep the skin looking smoother when it did start to look old. Bottom line the fancy, overcomplicated we swear we'll make your skin look young products aren't going to do it. Keep it simple. And if you get truly angsty over looking less elastic, go talk to a dermatologist. Obviously everyone's skin is different so this only applies to anyone with cystic acne who feel like they've exhausted every other topical option. Differin is the only product that cleared my cystic acne which I'd been struggling with for about 7 to 8 years.